Hello, welcome back. The former head of the CIA has warned Britain against voting to leave the EU in June's so-called Brexit referendum, citing Russian policy as the main threat to the bloc. Writing in the Telegraph newspaper, retired U.S. Army General David Petraeus said Britain's exit would be a significant blow to the EU's strength and resilience. He added that it, that it comes at a time when the West faces multiple security challenges. One of them, he claimed, was the Russian president seeking to re-establish a dominion abroad and sponsoring forces that fracture European unity. And this is not the first time Washington's leaned on the UK to vote a certain way in the referendum. Earlier this month, rumours that the American president himself might use his upcoming visit to London to campaign for the Remain group caused outrage in the Leave bloc. My colleague Neil Harvey spoke with Jack Montgomery, a press officer with the Leave campaign, and John Edwards, senior spokesperson at Scotland Stronger in Europe. The risks that we face uh, as a result of European Union free movement rules they're real. They're a consequence of, a consequence of the political system in Europe. We do have a very, very limit. There's nothing we can really do to stop any Islamist from Belgium who feels like it from coming here, provided they can show an EU passport on their way through, uh, through passport control. When we've got stateless threats, when we've got virtual threats, when we've got cyber threats, when we've got threats that we haven't even imagined yet, the idea that it's better for everyone to retreat behind their borders and do it that way than to no do it in the system that, that John, built up no over 40 that. years. No one is saying that. But you are. You're and you're talking about it. And all you're using is you're setting up... No, you're setting, setting up armed sallies Union. about political you're union which don't exist. complete rubbish. France's economy minister, Emmanuel Macron, has said that the Calais migrant camp would basically move to Britain if it was to leave the EU. Isn't that a strong argument against leaving? No, because uh, Monsieur Macron uh, is not in charge of immigration policy in, the, in France. Uh, well, this, will not, this will not change. It would not be to France's advantage to move the border from Calais to Dover. This is one of the most ridiculous of the... Um, Right. remain scare stories. The truth is, if you're going moving to an external border, whether it's north, south, east or western Europe, then that external border will have a different relationship to the people over that border than an internal border that is part of a cooperation agreement. So of course there'll be no reason for French gendarme or anybody else to help us at Calais when it's simply a matter for Dover. In the same way it would be the same crossing the, uh, of course there the Adriatic would, it would, it would or the Mediterranean. It would a huge population flow into France from people who wanted to move on Precisely, and every gendarme a from humanitarian the humanitarian crisis, as the interior minister of France There's said, a humanitarian said, crisis at the moment. Not on the There's cards. a humanitarian crisis at the moment. There's a humanitarian Thanks crisis at the moment. And what is happening... How, no, not to thank. Thanks to two and a half million people in Syria being displaced, which has got nothing to do with Schengen. We've got a system that works. It isn't working. And you want to come out of it for no reason other than political gesture. We've heard David Cameron talking about financial shocks to the system. It's worth just remembering what a shock really means. It means pressure on the pound. It means jobs being lost. It means mortgage rates might rise. It means businesses closing. It means hard-working people losing their livelihoods. Most people would agree no one really knows what would happen. Is he, is he not scaremongering? That's the accusation. The truth is, unlike the Scottish referendum, you can see I'm here in Edinburgh tonight, uh, when we had a referendum two years ago, we had a 650-page white paper that sat on the table and you could say the status quo or this, the alternative white paper. We have the status quo and we have absolutely nothing on the other side. So the Prime Minister is perfectly entitled to say, I think there's a little bit of uncertainty there when we don't know what we're talking about. The country is perfectly capable of governing its own affairs as a freestanding democracy. Of course it is. Much like Australia, Singapore, any one of hundreds of other countries around the world which do not allow an unelected commission to pass its laws for it, to represent it on the World Trade Organization, to decide who can and cannot come into the country, endangering public safety.